<laughs> How hard is it in the dating Ooh, world now? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what is it like out there for for, Do for we have a single woman? Shot of tequila? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm I've been single for five years, so huh? I don't know what this world is like out there. But I know, but from what I see and from what I hear, it is tough. It is very tough, mm -hmm. and it is exhausting. <laughs> like, it's exhausting. I'm gonna throw the towel in. <laughs> Someone had told me, and I was, I, I, I wanted to be like, no, I, I disagree with you, and I don't want to believe it. My last relationship, when dating was, you know, when I was, you know, dating this person, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. It was amazing. It was wonderful. There was courting that was, you know, involved. Um, and I was saying how I feel like that's no longer, you know, uh, present. <laughs>so we're talking about the divorce um word on the street is that her divorce is finalized and she's having a bit of issues in the dating market she's claiming that things aren't what it seems i'm noticing a trend with older women is that they'll be in a relationship that's not necessarily bad they speak very highly of that relationship but then they want to be like Stella got her groove back and then go and mess up something good. 15 years of marriage that you decided to give up. There was no rhyme or reason for you to give up a perfectly good marriage for what? Because the grass isn't always greener on the other side to you. Let's watch the interview. How hard is it? in the dating oh, world now. Oh my God. <laughs> what is it like out there for, for, Do for we have a single woman? a shot woman? of tequila? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I have been single for five years. Yeah. So huh? I don't know what this world is like out there, but I know it, but from what I see and from what I hear, it is tough. It is very tough mm -hmm. and it is exhausting. <laughs> like, it's exhausting. I'm gonna throw the towel in. <laughs> Someone had told me and I was I, I, I wanted to be like no I, I disagree with you and I don't want to believe it my last relationship when dating was you know when I was you know dating this person it was beautiful it was amazing it was wonderful there was courting that was you know involved um, and I was saying how I feel like that's no longer you know uh, present meaning like people just don't court each other anymore and this person was like well you know that's just that's old news like people people just don't do that anymore there's just this whole new way of doing things and I'm like you mentioned tradition you know and I think that's where it kind of needs to go back to you know where you know a man is um courting a woman and, and showing her you know how much he appreciates her and wants her and loves her or wants to be with her, they have this mentality right off the bat that there is someone else. Do you know what I mean? Like there, there could be someone else. That is they're, it that they're the prize? Yes. Yes. We talking deep here. Yes. We about to get into it. Oh my God, that the, that the man is the prize. The man is the prize. Yes. I'm talking loud. Yes. Also, it seems as if men are now just looking at women as objects. Things are so, um, it's like instant gratification. You know what I mean? They just want something like quick, quick and easy and now. This, this is what I don't understand. Ladies, if you are in a relationship and it is good, why are you going to mess it up for a potential new man that you may or may not get? Your intellect is as weak as your dollar. Failure is your destiny. You disrespect yourself and your nation. You are made of stupid. You're gonna go back out on the dating market at an older age and think you're gonna have the best of luck? <laughs>
<laughs> well, not according to your TikTok, it's not. You're already having issues. But had you stayed with your husband, you wouldn't be in this mess. My message is clear. Older women, if you're in a good relationship or if you're in a good marriage, don't mess it up for something that may or may not be better because the grass is not always greener on the other side. Tia has to compete with younger women, middle-aged women, early to late 20s, early to late 30s. And most women that are her age are married with kids. And she was one of them. She was married with children, had a happy life, had a happy marriage, and then she goes and messes it up. I really think that Tia had a Stella got her groove back moment, but guess what? You went from sister sister to living single. <laughs> It's not so fun, is it? It's not easy out in the dating market. Now, is it? Your fame, your wealth, your riches, they mean nothing on the dating market. Because now, this is why Tia is not really going to make it on the dating market. Because she's a divorcee with children, an ex-husband, and whoever now, it would be different if her husband passed away, but that's clearly not the case. But she divorced her husband. She divorced him. Let's pull up that stat. So now you have a, a woman, perfectly good marriage, spoke very highly of her marriage, but she's no longer married. She's no longer married. And then she wants sympathy from the internet. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm here to tell you, Tia, that you messed up. You messed up big time. If I was you, Tia, I would go get your man back and get your family back together. But if you choose not to, Guess what? The dating market is different and you have more against you than you do for you. Now, I'm not saying all single mothers are bad, but you have to live with the consequences of your actions. And see, your consequences, you may not get another man. This may be it for you. This may be it. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the video. And until next time, peace.